Hi, I'm meteorologist Ali Toriano. As we move through severe weather season, we know we could get some pretty strong storms here in North Texas, and really severe weather potential is here all year long, but you often hear us talk about downburst winds. So what exactly is a downburst? Well, first you got to start out with a pretty strong, mature thunderstorm. We've got those winds going into the storm that are very warm, moist, unstable air moving into that thunderstorm. In the meantime, all of that warm air starts accumulating. We have got rain, we've got hail all hanging on in this thunderstorm, some of it making its way to the ground. Simultaneously, drier air starts to filter in the middle portion of the storm. Then before you know it, that updraft, not as strong as it once was. Everything gets very heavy. We are seeing that rain and hail start to cool, warm air rising, cools. Evaporative cooling is what it's called. And eventually it's got to go somewhere, right? So that cool air helps bring all of that rain and hail to the ground. It brings it down very quickly. And at that point in time, as those winds come down, they hit the ground and are forced outward in every direction. So that is what we call a downburst. Downburst winds can move in every direction. They look very different than tornado damage. And in fact, downburst wind damage is very likely compared to tornadoes. For every one tornado, it's about 10 downburst wind damage reports, believe it or not. And that comes from the National Weather Service. So it's important to note, we don't need a tornado to have some serious damage. Downbursts can be as strong as a weak tornado, maybe even over 100 miles an hour, which would make it an EF1. So as we go through severe weather season, always make sure you have the WAP handy and you're paying close attention to those thunderstorms storms.